Oh, look at it. This vast landscape of timber pylons <laughs> scattered around. Oh, he's so strong. Oh, oh look at that strength. I, I moved the stone this far, this close. Um, but now I, I just need a few people to just finish the job. Right, bring it. Like out there somewhere. Out there. Just like standing up. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. How many more people do you need? Uh, according to this, 99. 99. Okay. Well, there's four people there. I won't film them because that's weird. <laughs> ah yes, the beautiful English countryside. Um, so the color blue has gone extinct here. Just so everyone knows. So there's no such thing as blue sky anymore um what you're looking at over here so i believe this is the free car park this is where all the uh, poor peasants go today we are not peasants not like yesterday um we can afford we can afford visitor attractions oh there it is i can totally see where it is that is the uh the where I was taking, I took all those stones there. You saw me earlier in that clip. Did all that decorative stuff. Um, so you can see the crowd of people on the left. Uh, that is the known as the Plebeian Way. Uh, that's where, so basically, if you want to get here for free, you park there. And then you've just got like a 10 or 15 minute walk. And you, you can't go up to the stones. You have to sort of hang out slightly behind the uh the landed gentry that of course we are a part of today not like yesterday uh yeah so that is your how to get to stonehenge for free explainer for you all right we ready for a bit of a religious experience sure. i think there needs to be more atmosphere more atmosphere yeah do, do you have any ideas how we could make this more atmospheric more Hi Horia! Hi Horia! Walolo! Walolo! Hi Horia! Hi Horia! Walolo! Walolo! Ah, so we should do a little bit of history, right? Um, so this is a site where, uh, Doctor Who was imprisoned. <laughs> uh, I believe this was Excuse 2000 me. and something. It's the Doctor, not Doctor Who. Thank you oh, sorry, the Doctor yeah, was imprisoned here yeah, by all of his enemies. <laughs> that one time that happened. Um, so when they built Stonehenge, did you know that they immediately founded a religion? Oh, did they? Yes. Religion, uh, I don't know. It depends on what game of Civilization 6 you're playing. <laughs> um, but it's also known, it's, it must have been an AI player at the time. Oh. So it's an AI, because uh, Stonehenge is generally a wonder that only the AI gets to build. Right, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't built by humans, it was built by AI. Yeah. Uh, and it also, fun fact, really makes me think of uh, Bill Bryson. Who's that? He's a comedian <laughs> that they use for the quote. Something about like, oh, can you imagine like lugging one of those stones all the way up here and then turning around and looking to all your fellow clansmen and saying, oh, good job, boys. Now let's do another 50 of those. <laughs> Which is the actual quote they use for the wonder when it gets built. Of course. By the way. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. The, some of the other quotes like uh, Mount Kilimanjaro uh -huh. uh, doesn't have Wi-Fi. Uh -huh -huh. But it does now. Uh -huh -huh. So <laughs> they haven't updated. They, ha they need a bug fix to that really. <laughs> it's outrageous spreading lies like that. <laughs> also, oh hi fellow villagers. <laughs> All right, so back up vocals. Yes, hello. Um, did you know that it was so very important to be buried 
near the size of an ancient highway. Oh, lovely. Uh, yeah. To ensure that there was adequate traffic through to the afterlife. <laughs> so yeah. that's obviously where all these vehicles are going. Right. Well, which way is the afterlife and which way is... Uh... Why are some going in the opposite direction? Um, they're being reincarnated. Oh, I see. Hence the term car. Uh, that's I see. that's <laughs> that's obviously how English works. <laughs> Do you want to talk your way through your favorite rocks? Um, so you're all confused. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, so my first favorite rock. Is oh, you're doo. gonna do a point. That one. Oh, the one the right blurry on top. one. Yeah, but my second because it's you're like, touching the rocks inappropriately. No, I'm not. They're going blurry. Oh, they're blushing. They're so embarrassed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll try and burn my finger instead. Oh. Uh, my second favorite rock is that little blue ah, one. the formerly blue ones yeah. that um blue yeah blue as we discussed earlier went extinct here. Yeah. yeah, but not uh, not the big blue ones. This little Just that little one. That little blue yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No it's a shame said. that the color blue yeah. went extinct. It is. It really yeah. is. I mean, could you just imagine if it was, you know, blue sky? Oh, yeah. Blue sky and blue rocks. Wow. Also. That's a lot of blue. I was going to try and get it to light so you can see through the windows, but there are people standing to it right now. Jokes. <laughs> Jokes. Cool. Yeah. Just taking another video for artistic reasons. Oh, of course. Because you can see the four yes. things there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright, bringing you some quality material right here. This is the Plebeian Way. <laughs> as you can see, right next to the, uh, <laughs> the uh, aristocratic way, I guess. <laughs> way for landed gentry uh the plebeian way is rather outdated that's why there's got this uh roman um <laughs> mile marker here uh it's got some roman stuff and then it's like from london second from amesbury i believe um so yeah the the plebeian way right next to the aristocratic way we're actually standing right next to the main entrance according to the sign but according to that sign so according to the sign on the left it's the main entry but this is a no entry <laughs> so um i don't know one of these two signs is lying obviously <laughs> uh, oh yeah and that's the main attraction there just you know in case from the last like 10 minutes of footage you forgot, <laughs> forgot where, we <laughs> where we were <laughs> somehow <laughs> All right, so some some fun facts about uh, where we are right now. Obviously, we're in England, um, but the Boston Tea Party is just here. Uh, so the reason the Boston Tea Party is here is actually because so the old George Mall is right in front of us, and the Americans when they won uh, World War, all of them, because that's you know American history for you. Uh, when the Americans won World War, all of them. They decided to put a Boston Tea Party right next to the old George Mall just to like be like, just as a subtle brag, you know, just like, ha ha, we won. Because obviously, I'm assuming it was one of the King Georges that lost the colonies. Probably. Hence the, yeah, hence the, hence the humble brag. <laughs> so uh, here in England, they had to replace the sun with uh, this red. Beacon. Um, beacon, beacon of red. Uh, but we're here inside, inside the sun, inside the mall sun. <laughs> All jokes. It's actually the mall's ball ball. It's um, it it's similar to the one in Adelaide, except um, obviously somewhat incomplete. This is the practice run, uh, which they didn't really know what to do with. So they've just a uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve. It's up. <laughs> Hence. Just another reminder that it is it is the month of Christmas. What? I know. Something something scenery. Something something history. 
<laughs> something, something scenery and something, something history. <laughs> what it is a mystery, <laughs> etc. Former residents of British Prime Minister that I've never heard of before. <laughs> Just, you know, casually. Casually next to the Great Hall, the Great Medieval Hall. Uh, this hall was actually in a fancy dress party, uh, Medieval Con, um, that was held in the Renaissance because that's when they had Medieval Cons. Um, unfortunately, it lost the, the grand prize to the uh, Salisbury Cathedral here. <laughs> Which is why, the, I mean, the cathedral does look very nice. It does. So our main project, obviously, big spire, <laughs> thing, big building, just a small side project. Uh, that's the room with the Magna Carta. <laughs> now, unfortunately, uh, we are no longer elites. We are back to being peasants, so we're not going to go in. <laughs> also, it's closing time, so... <laughs> That's the thing. We're not VIPs no. anymore. We're not barons or kings. So we're not. So and we weren't able to uh, write to the king and get him to sign a bunch of documents. Yeah, saying that he sucks. Saying that he sucks and that he should let us in his cathedrals after closing time, yeah. even though he doesn't have jurisdiction over the church. Yeah, he's not Henry VIII. So he's he wasn't Henry VIII. No. Um, so yeah. Alright, so we're here at Malmesbury House. Uh, a, a family house with great beauty, historic interest. Um, it's so historical in fact, their clock has never been updated. <laughs> so the clock is stuck with like the time from 17... 50 whatever before the great calendar reforms <laughs> uh which is obviously so much like metric and imperial um the great calendar between the julian and gregorian calendars so stuck on julian time um unfortunately uh so if you live in the house you have to obey julian julian time calendars all, all that stuff so they're actually i mean Technically, I think they're a month ahead of us, right? Yeah, because yeah, no, the year was too short. I, I don't know, there was a sign that explained it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is actually the house of the future. Do you think they're Evidently. going to be late for all their dentist appointments? Um, potentially, yes. Uh, we, we can say that because we try not to go too fast and give everyone motion sickness. Welcome to the dentist. Oh yes, we're standing here, guarding the tent to our commander, Commander Santa. Out here, guarding, guarding the commandment tent here to like, here in this like, desert climate. <laughs> Hence why we've got this teepee, obviously. God, God. God the seasons, guardian of seasonal change or something. More TP, lol, lol, lol. 